This tutorial introduces Named Actions in Visualizer. Named Actions is a feature which enables users to build action sequences that can be reused across widgets in the project. For this tutorial, we have a simple application with a login and registration form. Notice as I preview that even after hitting the register button, the registration form retains my personal details. I would like to have these values reset after submission of the registration form. We will see how one can use named actions to build a simple action sequence that will reset the text fields in a registration form, and later how it could be reused in the application. I'll first create a named action for the mobile channel. It is important to note that named actions are channel specific and can only be reused across widgets and applications built for a particular channel. I have the entire action library available to define any sequence of actions for the named action I just created. I will create a sequence of actions to reset the values of the text boxes in the registration page by configuring the set widget property action. I've created set widget property actions for all of the other fields on the same form. After creating the named action, I will associate it with the click of the register button. I will first select the register button and then right click on the named action and assign it to the on click event. Next, I will run the Visualizer app preview. As I enter values into the fields and submit the registration form, I see that the values I entered in the text fields have now been reset. I also want the fields of the registration page cleared if a user decides to exit the registration process after entering personal details on the form. I could assign the named actions we created to reset the text fields when a user hits the exit button. I will configure the call action parameter to call the named action on the click of the exit button. This is an alternate method of associating a named action with a widget. As I run the Visualizer app preview, I see that the data in the registration form is now reset on exiting the registration form as well. I also have the option of saving any action sequence created as a named action from the action editor. For instance, I can save the action sequence we just created for the exit button consisting of a reset and navigation action by merely renaming the action sequence. To submit questions, go to developer.coney.com, or for more information about Visualizer, go to coney.com, products, Visualizer.